NPH. Leaders in Canadian basketball. Kravitz! Neon Kravitz! You know, he's a special type player. He's 6'11", he's super skilled, he's got great hands. Deion is a player that they're expecting good things from. Tonight would be a good night for him to start playing the way he's capable of playing. Just like you said, basically, like a versatile player, I like to drive left, I like to drive right. Um, my biggest strength would probably be my passing. I like getting other people open. And I mean, since the season ended, all I've been doing is working on my mid-range game and my three-point shot. So just trying to add a little more versatility. So when people close out on me, I can drive. And when they don't close out, I can have that shot. That first game, like, it really opened up my eyes. I mean, playing against guys who are just as tall as you, but even bigger than you. Some may even be, like, as talented. So, I mean, it was definitely an adjustment period for me. It took me a few games to kind of get into it. Uh, but, I mean, you know, once you get into it, like, it goes pretty well after that. I mean, that's why I think next season it'll be better, because this is my first year, so next year should be a lot better, just being more confident and knowing that you can compete with them. I mean, I just got to be really confident going into the season. I think that was my biggest weakness last season. Physical toughness and mental toughness. If I miss a couple of shots, I get down. I probably don't play well for the rest of that game, but if I'm doing well, then I usually do well for the rest of that game. So just being even keeled is probably the most important thing for me. If you think you're the best player on the court, I mean, you will probably be dominating that game. I mean, there's games where I don't do well and I just my confidence decreases and I'm not, I'm almost going to be invisible on the court, but then there's games where you do play really well and you just think like no one's going to stop you. So I mean, I think that killer instinct is in some people, but it's not like, it's not in them all the time and that's what, that's what separates the good from the great. I mean, out of high school going into York, I thought that was going to be a really big change. So I mean, I went in the weight room that summer before and I had a couple of friends who also wanted to go, so it kind of kept me motivated. I just kept doing that. It was something I kept doing when I was at York. I'd work out every day. Guys like David Tindall would always want to work out. So I'd always join them. It's just something I kept doing. And when I saw results, I just continued it. Before, like, I remember it was like if a guy was even playing on a Division One team, you'd be like, wow, this guy is amazing, this and that. And now you have people being the best players on high Division One team. So, I mean, it's obviously growing. And Canada basketball, I see it competing for medals in the future. It's something I definitely consider. Playing, playing for Serbia or even Canada, that's another dream of mine. I mean, I potentially, that would probably be better for me than playing the NBA. Just wearing the, wearing your country on, on the front of your jersey, that's just a great accomplishment for me. It's a tough question. I'm, you know, it's really who, who I have the best relationships with and all that. Just to me, it's all about the relationships. I mean, who reaches out to me the most, and that's, that's all that matters to me, really. My ultimate goal is just like, the most Division One basketball players, I'd say, is the NBA. That's the ultimate goal. That's a dream goal. But, I mean, for me, like just playing professional basketball after college would be a great goal for me. And it's trying to work free. Kravitz. Oh boy, quick move by Kravitz to the hole, and Bajinski gonna get called. Even people tell me they say, Dion, you can be a professional basketball player. You can play in the NBA. You have the the skills and talent to be there that some people don't even have. But I mean, obviously, there's so much of stuff to work on. Have to get physically tougher. Right? I need to have that mindset that just dunk everything, just be a beast. So I mean, if I can do all that, I mean, there's there's a chance. So I mean, for me, just playing professional basketball would be would be a dream.